Cartagena does see its fair share of rain, sometimes exceed 40 inches per year during the high rainy season, October and November. So I'm parked on the sidewalk because I can't, but my, the car is too, too low to the ground, so I can't really cross like these people are. So I gotta somehow go back. Like my second day in Cartagena felt like the entire city is flooded. Outside the wall, the street seems like an extension of the Caribbean Sea. But as quickly as the rain comes, it's over just as fast. Once you enter through the gate into the walled city, you would think the storm just missed this part of Cartagena. The magic of Cartagena can only be felt when you drop all sightseeing routes, guidebooks, maps, and just walk through the town to soak up its sensual and romantic atmosphere. It's very hard to get lost in the old city, because if you keep walking, eventually you will find the old wall at the end of any street. Cartagena is a world-class gallery of public street arts with a story of resistance behind it. The first graffiti appeared in Cali Serbe on a concrete wall that was being used as a public restroom and smelled like hell. Bueno, huh? How mixology starts. Local artists saw the opportunity to reclaim the streets with their spray cans and imaginations. Here in Trinidad Plaza that the first independence movement in the country started. That resulted in the freedom of the entire city of Cartagena 11 years before the rest of the country became independent. The first battle was fought by the residents of Gethsemane, whose statue is still standing in the Plaza Trinidad.
was lucky to have the chance to walk around the old town with almost no tourists around, taking advantage of a quiet Sunday morning. It was a perfect time to see the beauty of this magical 